essentially it is going to be improvised and we're just going to ask as many questions as we can so yeah do what we do do what we do as property investors that was so lame why did i say that Hello everybody, welcome back to Property Ooh. Couple. I'm Leah. And I'm AK. And on this channel we document all things property, business and working together as a couple. There you go. Coffee break, because that was so exhausting for you. Oh, <laughs> so exhausting. <laughs> and in this episode we're going to talk to you a little bit about our small little appearance on Channel 4 and how that went. We are ready for filming. My hair's... I look a bit like an egg. <laughs> You look nice. Thank you, actually. Noise. You look nice. Noise. <laughs> when his Midlands accent comes out. Right, let's bounce. But that is the property we're filming in today. Okay, so we're currently waiting back in the car because they're running really late, which is normal, which is fine. Fine. I hate people running late, don't I? I know. Uh, Atch is like not really used to being on kind of any set where they'd be running late. Yeah. It's interesting though, because I've when you used to do stuff for roles, was it always on time? Because I'm used to filming always running. Um, yeah, we were, we were. On time. And yeah, feeling good. Yeah, can't wait to get in there. Oh no, me too. I'll talk a little bit about how they found us. Yeah, go on then. So we actually got found for our YouTube channel, Shit, which is found like, us. they found, found us. <laughs> they found us. Um, yes, yeah, so we got contacted by a production person from Channel 4 and they were like, hey, we're looking for, we're basically looking for you guys, property couple, and we found you. Yeah. Um, they were looking for a kind of young couple that are legit in the property space. Tick. Tick. And they were making young. a young tick. Tick. It's always funny when people ask if you're the younger one in our relationship and I'm yeah, always like... I, I look pretty good for 78, to be honest. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so there was, they were doing like a scene where a young couple are going to look around a property, there's a comedian and they get thrown into a situation where they have to pretend to be an estate agent and they're showing us around this property. So we basically went there for the day and improvised being this couple. They said it wasn't acting, but I think that you had to do some acting because we're not at all interested in those kinds of properties that we viewed on the job. What do you think? Yeah, I was like, this was like a six million pound house in central London. It, we, yeah. <laughs> in fact, it wasn't even a house. Well, it was a house, but it was a converted church. Yeah. He was like, oh, you've done some like improv before. I can see you've done comedy. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they were asking about you. And yeah. I was like, and I was he'll, like, be, done nothing, he'll so. be fine. Like he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good actor at home. Yeah, so basically it was nothing like the kind of properties that we buy or renovate or refurbish. This no. house was shiny, brand new. So when we got taken into the property and the estate agent, who was an actress slash TikTok comedian, was asking us like, oh, what you know, what are you looking for? Da da da. We were just like, oh, just for our own home, but that yeah. was definitely not no. in the budget of our own home. It's like in the millions. Though loads of weird stuff happened. Um, so we're not going to release this until it's out on TV, so you guys can watch it. But for instance, one at one point, I opened the fridge and there was just like loads of shoes inside the fridge. Just really random. I wasn't expecting that. So much random stuff. And then that lady. Well, I actually knew her, Alison Thea Scott, mm. jumped out and pretended to be the mistress of the owner. Yeah. And said like, it's not for sale, it's yeah. not for sale. She was, she was great. She was a good actress. She was great, yeah. <laughs> um, it was so weird, wasn't it? Weird and wonderful. Piles of cash, just piles of cash. I'm, I'm not real, but. Oh yeah, so like one cupboard was like slightly ajar and there was like loads of cash coming out and you're, we were just like, what? What yeah. do you say to that? And I think they were just capturing our like confused faces and awkward reactions. Just imagine actually going on a viewing and like... And actually seeing that. I mean, the grand finale was the that kind of tied up, what is he, hostage? He was held hostage yeah. in the room. Awkward, wasn't it? It was so awkward. You go in and you're, <laughs> so like, you're like having, you're like going around the house and there's just like some tied up guy when you go into one of the rooms. The most Did awkward bit. That? No, of course not. The most awkward bit was where they were like, should we do that bit again? And we had to pretend to see it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, that was actually quite difficult. You were like, I know what I'm about to see. That but... was difficult. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, the best bit was when we went into one of the rooms 
and um, there actually was no cameras in there and we spent so long in there with the hope with a comedian and we were like doing all this stuff and they were like are you guys ready to come in yet and we were like what with, like we were doing the acting in the other room and yeah. there was no secret cameras in there we all thought there was cameras in there do you know what though one of the things i was struggling with was like staying focused on the actual task of what we were trying to do because i was like well that's a lovely top there that's a lovely like oh. wooden feature that's a lovely yeah so yeah it was actually quite a long time filming, even though I'm not sure how much of it is going to make the edit. But we were there kind of for a while. Mm. We waited around for ages because oh they were preparing God. the house to be ready. So long, waited around for what would you say? Like two up, two hours? Probably. Like it wasn't even that bad in terms of like waiting in terms of film and TV stuff. Yeah. And I was like trying to explain to AK, I was like, oh, when I worked in like as a runner on locations in shoots, like the shots take forever to set up. So it's lighting, then it's this, then props, and just waiting around is so normal. But he was just like, what are we waiting for? I was like, we're waiting. We're obviously waiting to I'm go like, on set. I'm not like used to it. I'm just like, come on. They said, you know, they said 11.15 and it's, you know, it's now 11.16. Yeah. It was good fun though, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really cool. And- um, I'd love to do it again. Yeah, I'd love to do some more stuff. And it was just quite nice to be discovered as property couple for a little TV job, which was yeah. quite nice. Yeah, I didn't even notice it was you. You were the one that said, oh, these guys have reached out. Yeah, I was so. like trying to figure out if it was legit or not. And then I was like, okay, yeah, it is legit. We got paid. Yeah. <laughs> got paid 20 got quid. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. Imagine if they'd only paid us 20 no, quid. No, I'm joking. I'd have kicked off. I'm it was joking. a big budget. It was 40 quid, but... <laughs> <laughs> When we arrived at the place, we kind of went there, we started speaking to some people. This was your sort of thing. So like, you're like, oh yeah, that's the guy that does this. Oh, that's the RP, that's the DP. Oh, that's the RP, that's the, that's the G4734.71. <laughs> no, I suppose, because like- in, You had all the lingo. I was like, that's the AD. You can always tell who like who works in the camera team, who works in this and that, because like, <laughs> of what they've got on them, I was like, oh, that's props and costume. Like, yeah. that's a makeup person, because they've got that bag. And, just from like doing a few little jobs here and there on set and yeah. the very few acting j jobs I have done. I was like, oh, I'm, I know this, like, I know this scene. So yeah. that was quite nice because you were like, what's that person? I was yeah. like, they're doing that. And then we were getting mic'd up. As we went in, we were getting mic'd up and they were putting the mics on us and I was like, this is cool. I was like, I was like, actually don't say anything confidential because we're now being mic'd and listened to and I've made this mistake before. I'd be like, yeah, that guy over there, he's a <laughs> I was like, just don't say like, <laughs> When you're mic'd up, just don't say anything yeah. rude or... Can know. I just say, I've got a whole new appreciation for people that are on camera because not <laughs> only is it difficult to obviously have a lens like on you, yeah. but like when we go in and there's a camera there, there's a couple of things. One, it's really difficult to like not look at the camera. Oh my God, did you look at the camera? No, no, I never looked at the camera, right? Uh, apart from I gave it a little wink. And then, no, I didn't really. Imagine. And then the other thing is like, there's loads of people behind the camera. So it, it's like, you know when you go in, it's like it's it's really like hard not to be like. There was like there was all quite, these people like quite a big crew. Yeah. So. Oh, um, you're so no, good. No, wait, I didn't. But that's the first thing that came to my head when I came in. I was like, oh my god, there's so many people, and there's a guy, and he and he's got and he's got a broom, and he's, like, <laughs> he's, he's doing the dusting, or like he's dusting something, and like. <laughs> the sound guy. Yeah. That was a boom, boom pop, yeah. and a, yeah, that was amazing. But it's yeah, it's cool. Okay, so. We just wanted to share that because that was a fun little thing that we were part of and also just throwing it out there to the universe to, to send us more jobs like that because we really loved it. Do you know what? I would love to be the new presenters of Homes Under the Armour. <laughs> I'm just throwing <laughs> oh that out there. How cool would that be? It, well, let's start buying some stuff at auction first because imagine <laughs> being a non-experienced Homes Under the Hammer Perfect. host. Perfect. Can, can we actually one time do the music where we're walking? <laughs> Did did it did it and they're walking down and they're like looking at, and they're like mark it on their little shoe. It's such an in joke for like daytime TV watchers Amazing. in the UK. One thing that has come into mind is that lots of the presenters you see presenting on property shows have been in the same role for like thirty plus years. Mm, so super I think experience. that yeah, whilst they're very experienced, they also might be looking for a career change soon. So there could be space for career. Change. Change. There could be space for like new property presenters in the space 
and you've got to have like a niche haven't you like it's always the same people that do like the interior design mm. shows it's always the same people that do yeah auction shows what yeah. would we be just be like the proper the likable slightly brown <laughs> Greek <laughs> property presenters like what could we do different shades of brown just get them different shades of brown on 50 screen. shades of brown <laughs> it has to happen yeah anyway on that note we should probably stop because um, we don't want to offend too many people and thank you so much for watching this video if you did like it please uh, like the video thumbs up subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you can get a little pop up on your phone as soon as we upload a new video and we'll see you in the next one, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.